my first grade, I have something that I think you're going to have fun with this next week. So before we get started, I want you to start thinking like an artist. So our mantra is, I am smart, I am creative, I am awesome, and I am an artist. So now that you are in the mindset of an artist, I am going to talk about what we're going to do this week. It is very different than things that we usually do in class because we are not using any art supplies. So what we're going to do is we are going to look around our house and we are going to create portraits out of items that you find either around your house or outside and we're going to put them all together to make it look like a face. So important thing to remember is that we already know what a landscape is, right? So a landscape is a piece of artwork that shows land, it's outside. We know what a still life is, right? So a still life, a lot of times are things that are taken from nature and are no longer living and they don't move, they don't talk. So flowers, bowls of fruit, but we haven't really talked this year about portraits. And portraits are artwork that are just people's faces. A lot of times we do self-portraits, which is us doing drawing ourselves or creating artwork that looks like ourselves. This is not a self-portrait unless you want it to be. But our goal is to take different items from around the house and really make it look like a person's face. I am going to show you a quick example and get you started. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it this week. I had a lot of fun doing mine and I miss you. I love you. Have fun with this. Have a great week. All right, everyone. So here is my example of my found objects portrait. So I just looked around the house and I saw different things that I could put together in order to make my portrait look like a face. So I have my son's hat and my husband's yellow jacket. I have two teacups with blackberries on the inside for the eyes and a little wooden toy for the nose and a baby onesie for the face where I was able to kind of smush it up and make a mouth and a chin shape out of it. Again, this is just an example. You do not have to use clothing at all if you don't want. It is not made to look realistic. This is definitely abstract. Don't forget to email me your finished picture and I will get your grade out to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much and enjoy your week, guys.